Hello YouTube and all the wonderful people on this website or app. Today I am in Hello Neighbor once again as a part of my first night experiment series. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be attempting to build yet another wall, but not for the sake of Trump. I'm going to be building it for the sake of trying to keep myself safe. Just going to have to get in here and break the window, yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a kind of a few tests. What I'm going to do initially right here is that I have enough supplies to do what I want to do initially. Which is kind of build like the smallest wall I can. Well, just most efficient wall. Kind of within the shortest period of time. I'm going to be doing three different experiments. A normal experiment, which I'm just going to be using these cardboard boxes. A second level experiment, which I'm going to be using a, th a few more of these chairs. And then the third level experiment, where I try to use everything possible, including things like the t his favorite TV, wherever that went, and maybe even his books. Oh, it's really bright on my screen. It's not bright for you guys, then, or just people who are viewing. If it's not bright for you, then two things. You either uh, have uh, shade color blindness, or you're just incredibly resistant to bright light. Alright, so, first experiment is basically good to go. I'm not going to use the rest of those boxes. This is just ten boxes that I've just stacked in in an attempt to try to protect myself. So, let's go! Oh, wow. He plowed through that really quickly. Okay, so I'm back in the game now, and I'm now rounding up all of, or most of the chairs and boxes, so I'm just gonna grab whatever I can take with my current inventory, and I'm gonna go ahead and march over there now, and start building with some of the chairs and other things I can find here. I think I have to dash right back around here real quick. Quick or quick, doesn't matter if you're John Wick, you're just gonna shoot everything. Hopefully I don't go into that little area, that wonderful little hitbox detection area where the neighbor goes all happy-go-lucky and, you know, grabs you by the shoulders, not necessarily molests you, but, you know, uh, you know what, I don't know what he actually does with you. Apparently he, like, knocks you out, puts you back in your bed, which is, if you think about it, that's really creepy for two reasons. One, he doesn't care if he goes into your house or not, which is already a major issue. And then the second thing is that how did he get into your house in the first place? It's like, you technically have a key and a lock to your door. The thing that I don't like using is these armchairs, because, as you can see, they kind of just shoot the boxes up. It's a bit weird, and if you put another box on top, they just kind of shake more, convulsively, shake more. I'm pretty sure that these boxes are possessed by whatever is in that room, since I haven't actually beat this version yet. So bright. So bright. Uh, but hopefully it's worth it for the sake of entertainment. I mean, we just passed the pie time of 3 minutes 14 of this recording, not in the actual video, but still, you know, pie. Pie's great. Pie is the supreme overlord of life. It's the shape of our cells, if you're getting that technical. And it's just pie. I mean, pie actually is just bad. I mean, that weird, like, lowercase n thing. Yeah, pie. You know that pie? It's not very happy. Reason being, it's pie. It's, n it's not nearly as cool as Tau. For those of you who know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna build this just a bit. And there we go. Alright, we're ready to start our second experiment with, again, the super bright room, which apparently is penetrating through uh, my eyeball. Um, anyways, though, let us get to the second experiment now. Help! So, that lasted a bit longer, I must say. I think that lasted around uh, 60 seconds of being terrified to death. Well, this is a free game. It is designed to be enjoyed. Because it's free. It's not the Alpha 3. 
I can rhyme. I tried. Except I'm bad at rhyming. Okay, I I'll be quiet. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Osteo. Uh, I forgot. I forgot what random disease I made up one time. It's not osteoporosis. I know that. It's osteo something. And basically, I was in middle school, and we were tasked with making a disease. And it can basically have any effects, so... Okay. Hmm, that could be a fun disease. Chair Trash Biniosis! When you're rapidly being attacked by chairs and... Magic? MAGIC! I missed a box. Do you know what box that is? It is the most exquisite box on this entire map. It is! It is! It is! The box in front of the house. Next to all the wonderful flowers. I mean, did you hear that? Even the crickets applauded me. Isn't that great? The crickets applauded me! I mean, when you take your neighbor's trash, usually it's a kind gesture. It's like, oh, uh, you're busy? Sure, I can take your trash out for you. But in this game, it's the ultimate insult, because it's like, ha, huh, I'm gonna take your trash and build a wall with it. Oh, wait. I forgot one of the most important ingredients to this entire ordeal. TVs. They're great barricades, as you can tell. This will be our final experiment. Oops. No. We must get the trash can flip, guys. Yeah. I'm a man. That phrase makes no sense. It's not even a phrase. That sentence makes no sense. I don't make sense. Why am I playing a video and not existing? Oh, gee. Alright, I'm gonna wrap this video up with a few things that we've learned today about this wonderful game. First thing that we've learned, the neighbor is one who smashes through boxes relentlessly. We, we've also learned something about ourselves. We are burglars. We are excellent burglars, because as you can see, it's the first day we've been here, and it's like, ha, I'm gonna sneak into your house and you're not gonna notice. And to wrap things up about the experiment that we've just now done, with our newly collected and incredibly accurate data from stacking boxes, chairs, trash cans, uh, not actually books, but TVs, TVs, that's the thing of today, uh, we've learned that one does not simply stop the neighbor with boxes. In our second experiment, we figured out that, yes, it does work if you can build a solid enough wall, and but still leave at least some like space on that door is what I figured out, because that causes the neighbor to try to go through there, try to go around and try to get through things. And then, after that point, we get to our third experiment. It failed the most, because I guess what happened is that it blocked the door so much that the neighbor could no longer cope with the fact that there's a strange man in his room with boxes and chairs. And, yeah, apparently I blocked it up so much and I blocked up the rest of it that I was like, I have no choice, I'm gonna break down your wall. So he did so, and there was that. Again, maybe another foretelling of our future here in America. Um, and aside from that, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, or whatever time it is, like, subscribe, and have a wonderful time on this wonderful planet. Goodbye.